The Feast of Our Lady of Fatima commemorates the apparition of Our Lady to three young children at Fatima, Portugal in the early 20th century. Our Lady came to ask for prayer for, for prayers to be made on the first Saturday of each month, aka the first five, five Saturdays prayers where you go to confession, receive communion, say a rosary, and spend 15 minutes with Lady meditating upon the mysteries of the rosary in reparation to outrage against her immaculate heart, and also for the Pope ultimately to consecrate Russia to the Immaculate Mary so that it would not become a means of torment for the rest of the world. One of the chief messages of, however, of Fatima that is often forgotten, often neglected, is of sacrificing sinners. These children would give up lunch. They would fast all day. These are like young children. We're talking like before First Communion age. We're talking like 8, 9. I think the oldest of them may have been around like 12, younger, if I recall correctly. Sister Lucia. And people go on pilgrimages here, but people often forget about this. Where are people today making sacrifice for sinners? Where are people doing these great penances and praying for sinners? Where are, pe where are the Tradicats doing anything, really, to evangelize or for non-Catholics? Like, who did... The first, the chief, the chief thing that bothered both the Virgin Mary and the children of all the visions was the vision of hell. Our Lady does not want people to go there, but people will go there because no one is praying for them. To anyone watching this, when was the last time you prayed for a non-Catholic? Ecumenical Council of Florence, outside the church is no salvation. Infallibly defined. Same thing, what I'm saying, when was the last time you said a rosary for conversion of certain mortal sin? These things have been forgotten in the church at large, even among traditional Catholics. Where are the penances you are doing on this feast of Our Lady of Fatima? Check out NSSP.